Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to add a bucket field in Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So let's proceed by understanding what is bucket field in a Salesforce. A bucket field in a Salesforce is a custom field that enable us to group together a value within a field as per the specific criteria. So for example, let's say you have a field called a revenue that contain a different values for the revenue of our customers. And by creating a bucket field based on this uh, revenue, we can range the revenue between different groups, such as between 18,000 to 25,000, we create a one group and then you create another group for a 26,000 to 35,000 and so on like that. So basically you can say that these but it fields offer us a quick and a simple approach to summarize the data according to our predefined area. So now let's proceed ahead and learn to create a bucket field in a Salesforce Lightning Edition. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning Edition. If you are not in a Lightning Edition, firstly you move to the Lightning one uh, by clicking on option of a switch to a lightning. So after that you have to move to the setup. I am already on a setup page. So if you are not you have to click on this gear icon and from here you choose the setup option. Then you have to click on this app launcher. These nine dots are known as a app launcher and here you will get a search bar. You can search for the reports here or either you can click on the view all you will get the option of a reports. Now click on this report option. It will uh, redirect you to the reports page and from here you will get the option of a new report. Here is the button on the right side. You can click on it and uh, by clicking on it a dialog box appeared on your screen and from here we have to choose our desired report category and from here we have a category on the left side like uh, recently used all accounts and the uh, contacts and opportunity and so on. So from here I choose the accounts and uh, contacts and now you have to select the desired report type. Okay from here I choose the accounts. You can choose as per your requirement and then it open a details uh, dialog box on the left hand side and here we have a button of a start report. You have to click on it and it redirects you to the new accounts report page and on the left aligned side uh, you have to click on this uh, drop down arrow in front of a column. So here are the columns and in front of this there is a drop down arrow. You have to click it and here we will get an option of uh, add bucket columns. So click on this. Now you have to write a bucket name. So let's pose here I set it to the uh, zonal okay uh, suppose let it to be zones and uh, from here on a left side you have to select the desired fields so here I click on a and here you can uh, see here on the above we have a field column and here you can see that it by default select to the account owner. Uh, so you can click here uh, on this cross sign and you will get the, all the fields name. So from here you have to select the desired fields. So here from I select the billings city. So here I click on it and it shows me uh, 12 value total. Now you have to click on a add bucket option to group these fields. So now here I click and uh, here it asks you to enter a bucket name. Uh, suppose here I enter it as a northern city. Okay, then you have to check these and here the first city is created you can also create another one so here I click on a add bucket option so from here I also create a other city as a, or you can say other bucket with the name sorry uh, spelling mistake south southern city 
and from here you can now click on these all 12 values and uh, from here suppose here I select this one and this one and this one and this one and this one so here I have selected some of the values and from here you can see that we have a button of a move to drop down button you can click and here you will get a three options of a northern city southern city and unbucketed values so I want to shift these cities to the northern uh, zone so I click here so you can see that it shift to the northern city uh, bucket that I have created okay so now you can again click on this all 12 values or you can directly click on this unbucketed values now from the unbucketed values you have to select those values that you want to shift to the another bucket like uh, I have here a southern city so here I select these value and here I move it to the southern city bucket and here are the values uh, we have a four unbucketed uh, values remaining and uh, here we have a checkbox uh, you can select it to bucket the remaining value as a other if I click here so it will make these unbucketed values as a other and simply after doing or finalizing all your things you have to click on this apply button so here I click and now you have to click on this uh, refresh to refresh all these changes and uh, take some time so after refreshing here you can see that it create a field with the name zones and uh, it uh, enter the zones as per the city so here here are the others here this one is a northern city this one is a southern city so it create a bucket field so with this we have successfully learned to create a bucket field in a salesforce lightning edition so we will also learn it for the classic one so for this firstly we have to shift to the classic edition for this here i click on my profile and here i get the option of a switch to a salesforce classic so i click on this option and it asked me to leave these changes so I want to leave it as as it is so here it redirect you to the classic edition so now here we have a tabs and from here you have to select the report and if you don't get here the option of reports you can click on this plus icon and you will get the option of reports so now you have to click on a new report button this is on the left side on a top so after clicking on it it uh, asks you to select a report type and this time I select this opportunities and uh, now you have to click on uh, this create button it will create a report now it redirects to the another page so here I don't want to check it from any date I want it all time okay so it shows you all the reports so now uh, from here we have to uh, select the drop down menu next to the field to whom you want to create a bucket field so here I want to create a bucket field uh, with respect to the expected revenue so I click on it and here you will get a drop down so now click on this one and here we have a different options and on a second last option we have a bucket this field option so I click on this it asks me to enter the name of your bucket field so here I enter it as a revenue profit okay after this now you it asks you to define the range of a bucket field so it uh, first value is like less than and equal to so here I set it as uh, 20,000 so it asks you to enter the name so here I entered it as a small uh, then after that ask you so here I if you want to add more things you have to click on this add option so here I click on it it automatically set it to the greater than to 20,000 to and here I set it to the uh, suppose 40,000 
and it asked me to enter the name so here i enter it as a medium and last field i want to set it as a large so here i set and finally i click on the okay button to save it so here you can see that it automatically created a field with the name revenue profit and after updating it it assigns a value as large medium or a small based on the expected revenue uh, amount so with this we have also learned to add a bucket field in a salesforce classic also so with this we have concluded that a uh, bucket field in a salesforce is a powerful tool that you can use for grouping and uh, categorizing a data so if this video was helpful click on the like button and uh, also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day